Hi boys and girls, how are you doing today? Welcome to our environmental activity lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. The other time when we did the furniture, we said most of the furniture are made of wood. And where does the wood come from? From the trees. Is that okay? Good. Now, I want us to remind ourselves about the furniture that's, that we did the other day. I still have some of them. Some of them. What did we call this? We called it a stool. We say we sit on a stool. The next one. This is the second furniture I have. What is this? A bed. And can you see the wood? Good. That's a bed. We also have this. It's one of the furniture we use. What is this? Good. These are sofa set. And which color is it? What do you think? Which color is it? Okay. And they also have, still have this. We call this one a dining table. It's where we eat from. And the other one we have is a, sorry, it is a desk. It is a desk. And we say it, we can sit on the desk when you're studying or using the laptop or whatever you're doing, you can sit on the desk. And we have this. These are wall units. And those were some of the furnitures that we looked at. Today, I want us to look at different items that are used at home. You're going to tell me where they're supposed to be. And some of them are some of the furniture that we looked. Now, the first one, I have it on the board. What do you think it is? This is a board. What do you do? Can you see? It has some drawers inside. Good. What do you keep inside? What do you keep inside? You can put your clothes. And where do we keep it in the house? Where do you keep the wardrobe? In our bedrooms. In our goods. And the next time item I have, it is this. What is this? Wow, it has a different color inside, and there are another color noted. Which color is, is it inside and outside? Green and white. Where do we put is this first of all? This is a cup. Everybody say cup. Cup. Good. And where do we keep the cup? In the, in the kitchen. It is one of the kitchen utensils that teacher Masi taught us. Good. The next item I have, just cut a little piece so that I can be able to show you. This is a piece of soap. It's a piece of. And where do we find them? Where do you keep it? Where do you keep the soap? You can put it in our bathroom or near the sink. Is that okay? And I still have another item over here. Voila! What is this? A jug. What is the color of my jug? Color? Red. And what do you use a jug for? You can put it to store milk, water, or any other drink. Is that okay? In the kitchen. So, where do you find it also? In the kitchen. And also a cup, you find it in the kitchen. Now, this is one of the furnitures that we learned. What is this? This is a table. And where, where do we find the table? In a, in the sitting room. Where do you find the table? Good. Now I have something else here. What is this? Tissue. What is this? A tissue. Where do we, where are we supposed to find the tissue? In the bathroom. In the, do you remember when we did toilet? Yes. You said you must learn to use that. Yes, for the girls, you can you use it every time you go to there. You use the toilet. And for the boys, you can use it during long call. And make sure you know how to 
cut the toilet paper. Don't use a lot. Can be folding. You fold, and when it's enough for you, you do what? You cut like that, and then make sure you pull this one nicely. If you don't have a handle to put it, if you're going to place it on top of the flushing toilet, make sure you put it nicely. If you have somewhere to put, make sure you return it. And the piece, make sure you use it, all of it nicely. And then when you finish, you dispose it in the toilet. And then later on, you do what? You flush. So where do we find it in the bathroom? Whoa, I have some things here. I have pairs of socks. Remember the clothes you wear? Good, socks is one of them. And what, where do we find, where do we keep them? After they are washed, you fold them and you put them in the wardrobe here. You can just open here or put them there. And remember, you must make sure they are always together, the two of them. That's why we call them a pair. Is that okay? Yes, make sure one of your socks is not missing. There are two of them. Is that okay? When you're putting them in the wardrobe. So that next time when you want to use them, you can find all the find the two of them and put them. Is that okay? What are these? Socks. And where do we put them? In their bedroom. Where we find them? Good. I also have another item. Which item is this? A bed. Where do we find a bed? In the bedroom. In the bedroom. So make sure when you wake up, you spread your bed. And you learn how to spread your bed every time you use it. In the morning, make sure after you wake up, you spread your bed nicely and you put your pillows in place. Is that okay? Good. Those are some of the item used. And we are going to start. I'm going to show you all of them and you're going to tell me where we find them. We started with this. What is this? Good. And where do we find it? In the bedroom. In the? Good. To the next item that I have. The pair of socks. Where, do, where are we supposed to find them? In the bedroom and inside your drawers. I have this one. Then toilet paper or tissue. Where do we find this? In the bathroom. In the goods. The next one. These are good. A table. Where do you where do you find it? In the sitting room. I have here the bed. Where do you find the bed in the bedroom? And what is this? A jug. Where do you find the jug in the kitchen? And also this. These are cup. We find them in the kitchen. So those are some of the items that I have for you today for you to be able to learn the item used, where they're supposed to be kept, and how to use them. And remember some of the kitchen utensils? Remember that? Do you remember some of the furniture? Good, you say every time you learn to take care of things that are around you. If it's a jug, can you take it to the kitchen because it's supposed to be in the kitchen? Like the tissue, it's supposed to be in the bathroom. Take it to the bathroom. Make sure you take care of these things right now you're at home. Is that okay? Make sure you just don't leave them anywhere. They can break. And like the tissue, you can spoil it. Maybe it can has it can you can pour water on it and it gets spoiled. And even learn to take care of our furniture. They can even cause accidents. If you don't take care of such an item, it can break and it can really hurt you. Is that okay? So we learn to take care of things while we are at home, like right now. Make sure you take care of good care of them and you maintain a good hygiene standard. If a jug is dirty, you do what? Wash it. If your cup is dirty, you do what? Wash. And you use soap. Use your soap and remember to use the water every time. So till next time, continue and be able to 
identify some of the items. I'm going to send you the worksheet for you to color and you're going to tell your mommy and daddy where they are found. Is that okay? So till next time, continue keeping safe and keep our items safe.